My name is Mike, uh, Victor Alpha 3, Mike Charlie Tango, and uh, I am part of the York Region Amateur Radio Club. And we've been doing a lot of work around using VARA, um, particularly for Winlink communications. And one of the features of VARA is called VARA Chat, uh, which we are starting to look at. And I wanted to put this video together just to show how easy it is to set up and get running on it. Um, so on this particular machine here, I'm going to show you, I've got various pieces of software that are in uh, what I call a ham directory. So I have here VARA, which is for the HF, VARA FM for um, the VHF, UHF kind of capabilities, and VARA chat that I've installed in this directory. Okay. Now, if I run VARA, which I've got a, um, a shortcut to here, so I'll just start that up. What it's actually going to do here is actually start the VARA FM software as well. So you can see that I've got VARA FM up and running as well. I wanted to run through the settings that I've done to, to make this work. So in the VARA chat window, there is a settings uh, drop down. I can then set, look to chat setup. And chat setup is very straightforward. Let me move this out of the way. So VARA chat uh, setup is very easy. So typical um, ports for actually communicating with the VARA software. Uh, Localhost is typically used if it's uh, all on the same machine. You could actually set up VARA FM or VARA HF on a separate machine uh, if you wanted to and run it that way. But this is all running on the same machine. I'm using uh, Victor Alpha 3 Yankee Echo Mic uh, as the base call sign. That's for York Emergency Management. Um, and will be used inside their um, EOC once we get that up and running. The choice here is whether you're going to use VARA HF, VARA FM, and one called VARA SAT, which I wasn't aware of, but VARA FM is what I'm going to use for this test. And I'm going to use it back to back against another machine uh, that actually uses my call sign, so Victor Alpha 3 Mike Charlie Tango 2, um, so we can actually see a communication going backwards and forwards. In this area you need to put in the directory where your VARA FM software is so that it can actually run it automatically. So again my software I tend to put in a hand directory then VARA FM is the preferred install directory for uh, VARA FM and VARA FM.exe. I did not change this uh, desktop here. Um, this is uh, if you want to actually download something through the VARA chat this is where it's actually going to put those things. And then I just click on update. So it's very straightforward to actually set up. Once you've got VARA FM itself actually running, um, using the typical settings that are under VARA setup, the sound card, the PTT, if you have that working for WinLink, all you're doing is saying to VARA chat, this is where that system already is. One thing I have found is that if you're running uh, WinLink in, in the VARA FM session, it will not let VARA chat connect to that same VARA FM. You have to close down your WinLink and then start up the VARA chat um, session. Anyway, I'm going to show you how we actually connect now to another system. So I'm going to bring up on another screen uh, this window here. Now, this is uh, another laptop that happens to be running. It's already got VARA chat running um, with the VARA FM uh, that's actually running inside there. So I'll just minimize that and close that window. So this is the VARA chat screen that you would see, and we're going to connect to it. So this is one PC um, that's talking. This is a second PC with second radio, second antenna um, in the background with a different call sign. So from this machine here, I can actually type in and say, oh, sorry, I can make a connection. So I'm going to click on connect. It asks me which call sign I want to connect with. OK, so I'm actually going to just click on the connect button. And you'll see already it's trying to connect with VA3MCT-2. So this is YEM-2 connecting to MCT-2 gives me a timestamp and look here on the second screen you can see that it's actually made that uh, connection through there. Now I can just simply start typing messages. Hi, this is Mike running the station at York Emergency Management Office. Hit the return, and it will start pushing that um, piece of data across to the uh, other machine. 
and in fact it goes relatively quickly. It seems to do it in, in uh, little groupings, so the high this went through very quickly and then uh, in a second burst it went through with the next piece. So this is running at relatively high speeds. Uh, it's very quick and easy to set up, as you can see, um, and connect to anyone else that might actually be online at the time. Obviously, I can respond from the other end. You'll just see that disappear. But um, uh, And returning the same to you. So you'll see if I click on that, I'll try and do it. So I does it and bring up that second window. And returning the same to you. It's just coming through in little bursts. Okay. Um, and then obviously I can then just disconnect by clicking on the stop button. And we're done. So again, a very simple, very quick uh, demonstration just to show how easy it is to set up VARA chat. Um, anyone that you'd be able to communicate with doing the peer-to-peer -peer that we've been testing or um, uh, just into uh, doing the uh, ping tests or anything like that. Our chat should be able to work for you on there. Thank you very much for your time and listening. And uh, any questions, please reach out to me at victoralpha3mikecharlietango at gmail.com.